All right, welcome back to Self Principle. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. Now, today's topic is about three really important things that we need to think more about as we get older, and that's brain function, our ability to still continue to be active, and depressive symptoms. And today's research study is focused on how are they really intertwined and how there's more of a connection where one leads to the next, leads to the next. So let's dive into a little bit and kind of see if there's some kind of a pathway where one leads to the next going on. So in this particular study, researchers looked at longitudinal data. Remember, once again, longitudinal means it's looking into the future and they're following them along of 51,191 adults. Ages were 50 years and older and they were from over 25 countries. Now, the average age was about 64.8 years and 54.7 of them were women. Now, the data came from the Survey of Health, Aging, and Retirement in Europe, the SHARE survey, which started in 2004. And every two years, they go back to these people and they ask them questions specific about cognition, where they make them do recall, uh, make them study 10 words, and then give a delay, and then have them try to remember those 10 words going on. They talk to them about how much activity they do to get an idea about physical exercise, and they also look at all sorts of questions about depression. So following these people out for quite some time, let's take a look at what they found. So what they found in this particular study was that higher cognitive function, in other words, higher capacity for your brain activity going on, that was the best predictor for people doing more physical activity as they got older, and the more physical activity they did, was a really good predictor of less depressive symptoms going on. So this is really interesting because we know that exercise has so much benefit for brain health going on, but it turns out that brain health actually has even greater benefits on exercise going on. So the question becomes is, well, why would that be? Why would brain health actually affect exercise so much more? It turns out that there's this thing called TEMPA. TEMPA is a theory. It stands for Theory of Effort Minimization in Physical Activity, which is a fancy way of saying that basically all of us, we have this tendency to do the least amount of work possible. And if our brain capacity, it isn't too much, or if you know our mental uh, cognition is going down as we age, then we fall into this TEMPA theory where we end up doing less and less and less activity. We're just programmed that way. But if we're able to preserve our brain function, then that allows us to overcome this minimization idea and to be able to do more activity. And remember, more activity translates into less depressive symptoms going on. So looking at this data and looking at this study, what is the stuff that you can apply to your own life? The most important thing as you get older, in your 40s, in your 50s, in your 60s going on, is to really focus on self. What is self? Sleeping. Make sure you're getting that seven to nine hours of sleep every single night. You have to make it a priority. So many people tell me, Doc, I can't sleep at night. Well, part of it is, is you're watching TV right before you go to bed. You have no set time going on. You know, instead of doing that, have a fixed time. Make sure that there's a ritual that you follow leading up to sleep so that it's helping you to relax and you're not getting stressed out about all those things. In terms of supplements, try to stay away from the melatonins. Melatonin doesn't help you get deep sleep. It's designed to help you fall asleep, but that's about it. And too much melatonin can have the opposite effect. It can make you irritable. It can have you you have vivid dreams going on. Instead, you can take a little bit of magnesium over the counter before you go to bed. Ashwagandha can also help you to relax before you go to bed. And good old things like taking a warm shower coming into a really cold room can help you. Weighted blankets, we've talked about that in the past, can help you. But you have to have a fixed schedule. Remember, exercise is incredibly important. So we know that when it comes to brain function, exercise can help in terms of angiogenesis. It can help to make new blood vessels, neurogenesis or new nerves going on, cortical thickness, how much brain volume you have for all of those electrical signals to go through. So there's so many functions. But Preserving brain function is stronger impact on physical activity, according to this data. And then for love, it's all about expressing gratitude, meditating, yoga, 
all those things that will help you to remove stress from your life. And lastly, for food, you really want to focus on adding plants to your diet. If you're not at a point where you can do a whole foods plant-based diet, that's okay. Start where you're at. Make small changes. See what you can do. And the more you can do, the better you're going to feel. So once again, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains are all excellent for you. All right, guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. As always, if you got a question, you got a topic you want me to cover, drop it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.